This is the Switch Charge. It's a battery case designed to attach to your Nintendo Switch and provide extra battery life. Now, we've taken a look at other battery cases and even battery banks in the past. However, this case is promising massive battery life by attaching a 10,000 milliamp hour battery straight to the back of your system. Today, we're gonna to take a look at this battery case and see if it's worth its premium price point. Let's start by taking a look at what you will receive after ordering one. The package includes a travel case for your Switch. This case will fit the Switch even with the battery attached to it with spots for things like cartridges and accessories located inside the case. Feels solid overall, but it seems to be available in the more expensive package at $110 during its current sale. That makes this case $25, and honestly, there are better cases out there for the price if you really want one. However, I, I don't think you clicked on this video to hear about a case, so let's get into the actual battery case itself, the main attraction, if you will, the Switch Charge. This battery case was a campaign on Indiegogo and raised over $400,000, which more than tripled their original goal. Needless to say, most Switch owners want longer battery life and they're willing to pay for the quality. The current price for just the Switch Charge is $85 when on sale, so it's not a cheap price point. I talked to them about the high price point and Switch Charge responded saying they wanted to provide a quality product rather than cut costs and use cheaper parts or cut out some of the features from this casing. I can appreciate a higher quality case and a higher capacity, but I also believe the price point may turn some people off since it honestly, it might just be hard for some people to swallow an $85 price for the case. All right, so with that out of the way, let's take a look around the casing itself. The case is designed from a nice feeling rubberized plastic, so it's pretty easy to grip and keep a hold of. On the inside, you can see the markings with the model and capacity. The output is five volts at 2.1 amps, so it can keep charging your switch without issue when you're playing it, which is a big deal considering we had that issue with some battery banks when the Switch first came out. Attaching this to your Switch is much easier than other cases I've checked out in the past. It's not spring-loaded, it, it, it doesn't pull completely off. The top simply flips up, giving your Switch room to slide into the casing. The top then just flips down to secure your system. The top hinge feels quality, and, and little things like these make me believe they really did have quality in mind when building the case. On the left side is a USB-C in for charging and a USB type A for outputting power. That's right, this battery case can charge separate devices such as a cell phone or even, I guess, another switch if you want to. I like the idea of another charge port since some people may have a commute for a couple hours and may want to charge their cell phone or tablet on the way without needing another battery bank. That's a big plus, less things to have to carry. Now, this next thing is something that bothers me about every single case that I've seen so far for the Switch, and that is the power indicator. I was hoping the Switch Charge would have kind of blazed the trail here, but the indicator is still four LEDs that light up, telling you how much life is left in the casing. I would like to eventually see a case that has a little screen telling you to the exact percentage left, and with a higher price point, I, I feel the Switch Charge could have this feature, and I know it's a little thing, but it, it'd be something that'd be just nice to have. Located around back is a massive kickstand. In fact, half the back is a kickstand. This is, so far, the best kickstand I have seen from a, a third-party casing. It holds the system up with confidence and doesn't really rock around easily. This is definitely a massive step up from the default kickstand and even has six different settings for positioning your system. I did notice that when opened up too far at times would fall and open up all the way. So I guess keep that in mind if you wanted to have your switch have it nearly flat on the table it could fall and kind of just lock into place that way. On the left side when looking at the back is a spot under the kickstand to store two cartridges. When inserted it takes on the stair step form that makes it easy to grab either cart. The little notches actually above the labels work well to grab either one out easily. It's a bit of a tight fit. However, neither slot rattles around and they feel pretty sturdy. Uh, something else I did notice at one point that smacking the case against my hand over and over again would dislodge the top cartridge. However, this is an obvious extreme case scenario that most people just won't run into with normal use. So let's go to over one of the biggest drawbacks to attaching a big battery case like this to your Switch, and that's the weight. I mean, it's, it's gonna weigh more, right? In this case, it's no exception. 
This case alone weighs in at over 330 grams. Add the switch the equation and you're coming up on almost 800 grams. You will feel this absolutely when using the switch, especially when holding it kind of in your hands in handheld mode. The system feels quite heavy with this case attached, but I guess that's the price to pay when you attach such a large battery. There's really, I guess, no way around it. Finally, let's talk about performance. The switch charge was able to give me just over 10 and a half hours of continuous use during a test with Zelda and Mario Kart. It was definitely a worst case scenario that I put this through where I tested with max brightness, max volume, you know, Wi-Fi on. Most people won't have things like max brightness going or even max audio, so your mileage will definitely vary. And of course, it's also going to depend on the game you're playing. Something like an indie game, like let's say Golf Story or Stardew Valley, I have a feeling it's possible to maybe get somewhere around 14 hours of play with those types of games that are less demanding. So decision time, is the Switch Charge something you should buy? Well, I guess the answer depends. I would say it's yes and no. See, it depends on your situation and how you use your Switch. That's the thing about the Switch, it's people use it differently. So let's say it, you commute a lot, but it's shorter commutes. You might not get the full 10 hours, you maybe you don't need to charge another system. I think there are cheaper battery banks out there or even just cases you can get that would at least fill your needs. But let's say you, you're out, you're away from the house a lot and you do have longer commutes or you have a longer commute coming up. Maybe you have a very long flight and you wanna have something that will keep your Switch alive without having to worry about plugging it in, this is definitely for you. The price point is higher, yes, but after using it, I felt that the quality is there. It's not something that feels cheap, and it doesn't feel like you saved a bit of money cutting corners on certain things. Sure, I would have liked to see a battery indicator on the side. I would have liked for it to be lighter. There are even points uh, at the top where I would like to be able to press the, the power button and the plus and minus volume rocker at the top easier and getting into the game cart, just forget about it. Just take your switch out to get in there. But realistically, I don't know if there's anything else on the market now that provides this kind of performance and this kind of battery life. The switch charge is pretty much the king of battery cases, at least for now. And that will do it here today for our look at the switch charge. What do you guys think about the switch charge? Did you back it and did you already receive yours? And do you kind of have your own opinions on this? I am very curious to hear what you guys think about this switch charge or any other battery cases that you guys wanted me to look at. As always, like the video guys if you found it helpful, dislike it if not, get subscribed for all things gaming and technology related, and I'll see you guys in the next video.